All right, guys, so you've just ripped a whole TV series or movie, and you want to know how to edit the name of the MKV file. You also want to set your defaults, audio tracks, and subtitle tracks for the MKV file, and you also want to remove certain audio tracks and subtitle tracks. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first, let me show you guys uh, what happens sometimes when you rip a show or a movie. You'll end up getting a title that's like this. If I press Control I on VLC Media, this is what we get. So. What we'll do here is we'll figure out first we'll figure out the name of our our show here. I mean episode. Yeah, we'll do that. So let me just do that. I'll speed this portion up, but you'll need to figure out the name. Of course. I'm doing this as I go so that I can remember for later on. Here we go. What we have here. All right, we've got this one. And then this is. All right, so I've pretty much got the names down. Um, but before we do that, we change names. I just want to show you guys what you'll probably be getting here. So as you can see, our first track is our video track. It's track ID is zero. And then we have one to four is audio. And then five and six are our subtitle tracks. So as you guys can see, track one is our default and this track is English I like watching some of my shows in um, Japanese and reading the English subtitles so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and how you guys can do that as well and in the process we'll be removing the excess um, DTS audio like track two and track track four and as well as track five, we'll be removing track five as well because we don't need that extra subtitle track. So let's go ahead and change the name uh, first. So we'll go into file bot, move this over. I will search berserk. Gonna control and click the uh, what we need. So here we go: the black swordsman, the first battle, and the swords. And send that over here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna rename. All right, as you guys can see, we have renamed our our show here. But the problem is within. Um, the MKV file, the name hasn't been changed. So I'm going to be helping you guys uh, do that with this uh, code here. So right now, let's go over to the to the to the um, batch file. So this is just a normal notepad. Um, but what happens is when we save it, we put a dot bat after it, and that transforms it into a batch file. And what the batch file can do is it allows this code to run for all of the um, the these instructions to run for all of the all of the items that are within the same folder. So 
if we transfer this batch folder uh, this batch file over here it's gonna do these instructions onto these so let's go over the instructions so the first um, little instruction here this will be to rename um, our MKV so as you guys can see we have renamed um, the file but we haven't renamed the title for the MKV so this will be doing that for us and when you guys download MKV tool next this program here I showed you guys earlier um, you will have to make sure that the pathway is correct so wherever you guys have um, set this program file make sure the pathway is correct or it won't work moving forward this is our second line here and this is our second set of instructions and here is the path uh, for the second set of instructions the folder that the new worked on basically edited MKV files will be tada I will change it to um, vid help alright so the new folder that will come when the batch fi file is run would be called vid help and in that folder our instructions are going to be for the audio tracks remember the audio tracks earlier let's go back and show you guys for the audio tracks we had one to four what we want here is audio track 1 and 3 because they are the DTH HD Masters Audio. We want the English version and the Japanese version. As you guys can see, we have that English and Japanese. So 1 and 3 for the subtitle track. We want subtitle track 6. This track right here this is what we want alright so moving forward all you have to do is write what numbers you want and if there's more than one track that you want simply put a comma in the other number if it's a single number just write it make sure there's some space in between these instructions alright moving forward what we want our default track to be as you guys can see the the default track earlier was track one for the audio and I am watching this uh, Japanese anime with Japanese audio and English subtitles so what I'll be doing is I'll be taking that track three and I'll making that my default track moving forward track six as well will be my default so all you have to do once you edit this is file and save wherever it's at and then simply all you have to do is drag it into the same folder once you have that make sure you have mkv tunix and make sure the paths I was showing you guys earlier are routed just as mine and then we run it so right now what's happening is all the things that we need are being kept remember track 1 and 3 and 6 these are being kept and since this is a batch format what happens is that as long as your files um, are uniform uh, this can be from a movies um, extras or multiple episodes or even movies if they are uh, much the same all you have to do is if the tracks match and they are what you want you simply run the batch file in it and 
like I said before, we made the new folder vidhelp, if you guys can remember. And the progress is happening. I believe, believe we're pre I think it's done actually. Yeah, it's done. So this might take much longer for your 4K movies and stuff. But um, I just did these three episodes here. And uh, let's test it. So this, as you guys can see, the title has been edited. Perfect. Our subtitle is playing. All right. Now let me test if the Japanese uh, audio is playing. And yes, it is. All right. So control I just to make sure. And here we go. Our title has been changed. If we go back to the folder and play the original files. We'll get English audio. Right? No subtitles. None of that. Um, also our selections. Let's check. These are our selections from the originals. Let's go into the new folder. We'll play here. Only the two audio tracks and one subtitle track. All right. I will as well share this um, this rename batch file for you guys that want to keep your want to keep your um just your everything if you want to keep all your tracks that's perfectly fine this is literally the first line in our um in our in our batch editor from earlier so it's just the first command line just make sure your path is there and you guys will be set thank you guys for watching i hope you appreciate it Mm, bye.